Hello my friends, welcome to the fog. As you can see, we are at our cottage and actually from the last uh, shoot or from the last video, it's a few months back because there was some issues with the contractor before he can start it and such stuff. But as you can see from stuff near to me, work has started. Alright guys, let's start right here at the outside. As you can see, the bathtub is already out. There is some uh, wood and planks and so let's go right in. Moment of surprise, what do you think will be inside? Big mess, A really big mess. So I will step down so you can see it. And uh, as you can see, everything is a little bit lower and way different. This is the uh, entry room to the, to the cottage. As you remember, there was a wood on the walls and high floor. Uh, that's all out. Under the floor there was there was just big mess. Um, that's out as well. As you can see, there is some plumbing. There is a big hole. I will explain it in a minute. There is many stuff from the from the con contractors and. Uh, there is basically nothing as well. There used to be there used to be toilet and tiles and stuff like that. So to explain this hole, so as you can see, the concrete over here is only about three centimeters high. So that's not enough. It needs to be higher for isolation. So we have an idea because uh, in the kitchen, this thing did not have connection to the original septic. So we need. Mm, didn't really have any idea what to do with it and since this gave us the space to go to go deeper so we take that chance and this hole went to the basement and from the basement under the, the sink and it will be connected over there so that means that over here we can have this washer here and it does not need to be over there and there used to be a bathtub as you can see it's no more over here. It's basically basically all out with the tiles as well. So there only will be a washing machine, some uh, technology as a filters for the for the gray water, and may maybe a boiler for the for the hot water. And everything will be closed up. If you remember how we have it in our apartment, so it would be uh, it look like closet. Basically, nothing more changed over here. There is just the contractor stuff and. Yeah, basically that's it. So, destruction here is basically complete. So, we are now waiting only for the for the plumbers, because everywhere there is need for new plumbing that needs to be done now. And after that, we need to put the new concrete over it. They should be here, I think, tomorrow. And when the new concrete is done, we can build that wall, change the windows and stuff like that. Uh, as you probably remember from the last video. But the big changes and big, big headache uh, happened over here, up there. So let's go. And drum roll please. Well... Well, it looks terrible. <laughs> uh, where to start? Well, <laughs> as you probably remember, there was a wall, there was a wall, there wasn't, but yeah. And there used to be a ceiling, but everything is done because the ceiling was done with the little technology that nobody likes. So, and when you are putting that away, it just makes a really big mess so that is the stage we are in right now but to explain some headaches we have over here the ceiling was actually uh, quite low so uh, we were thinking what to do how to make it higher but it, as you can see especially on this beam it's just completely done uh, all beams actually is not in a great shape so i mean the uh Cross beams, not the not the actual actual um, those ones. Only those ones needs to be done. Also, the contractor did some cal calculations and <laughs> find out that they wasn't enough in the first place, and they are actually way lower than than they needs to be. 
they actually needs to be right about over here. So what we will do is to put uh, new beams on uh, with specification that needs to be there and those one will go away and what we will gain is about 40 centimeters of higher ceiling which would be really nice because those rooms are not really big they are actually quite small so with that uh, the feeling will, would be much bigger room since it would not be so low so i will show you our room as well it's really similar the beams here are in a little bit better shape but yeah basically it's similar or same as on the other side yeah this will be rolled up because this just don't have any use and if, this is the way how all mass is going away from here so <laughs> it's funny just throw it out of the window so yeah and the other headache and i would say a bigger headache because the beams will be just changed and everything's fine it's not it's a little bit of work but not that big of issue but the beams on the floor or for the floor this is the uh bring it down this is concrete and this is concrete ceiling from the uh, lower level this is iron beam i believe over there is a wood beam and over there is another iron beam and as you can see everything is spaced out so so far away and if we take a look again over here those uh, planks are actually lying on the on the iron beam so and this is already the floor, level of the floor that we had so this is a issue we need to we need to think some something about it because we was thinking like put just the osb and uh, over that just put a video or something but this is this is a little bit of game changer because the beams are so far away that we would need to you uh, use another another uh, wood to cross it and osb on that so we, we would be like five centimeters higher that's not possible for the uh, for the stairs so that's out so uh, the contractor is saying to keep those planks but to be honest there is holes like that and oh there are none over here so it would look terrible for, from my side so if you have any any idea or any recommendation what to do please leave a comment but right now Mm, maybe we are thinking to just put osb over it just the lower one the lowest as possible just to level level everything up i think it's r right about one centimeter or something like that and put uh, vinyl vinyl on that but or yeah probably vinyl uh yeah this is this is the headache but yeah this is the update this is how our cottage looks right now uh, it's not really nice, but <laughs> what what you can do. But uh, actually, I love this stage because there is so much possibilities. This there is so much hope what it could look like, what it could be. So I actually love it. But yeah, I know that it's terrible, and you actually can go over the beams. Yeah, great. So let's do a quick roundup outside. Here we already saw everything. So on the outside, as I was saying, there, there are some planks and wood. There is bath up and old vinyl. And on the back, yeah, there is just a lot more mess than it used to there's actually a lot more wood than it used to be on this side as well but uh, new septic uh, is not yet started because uh, the guy with the with the heavy machinery that's needed for that is injured so we are waiting for that but everything is prepared and here you can see uh, 
uh, how it falls down this is the window where, where we used to be you uh, there is a little bit of spray uh, to the side but basically they are quite good with keeping everything inside so kudos to, to that and as you can see the this is uh, just um, a little bit of grass destroyed but we can fix that because there will be much more fixing on the outside as you can see the uh, tiles outside the window is terrible the windows will be changed and also I believe this will be walled up and that would look terrible when the windows will be changed those tiles will, would be away and over here the, this will be smaller I believe those three little ones uh, those two will be will be uh, walled up and I believe this will be uh, sized up okay so this is the current state current update I really hope you like it if you have any idea or suggestions that we should change basically our main concern right now is the floor in the first level but uh, yeah I would like to see that in the comments below and when you are done comment commenting you could like it dislike it those helps as well share it and subscribe i love you bye